Hello friends. So today we will learn to deploy ASP.NET application with database to AWS Elastic Bean Stack. So what are the basic parts which we should know before we start? So first of all, we should have, we should have a proper application, build application which we can deploy to AWS Elastic Bean Stack. Second, we should have a database with us by which we can <coughs> we can deploy the database to the RDS environment to make a connection to Elastic Bean Stack to the RDS environment. Third, we should be aware about the AWS environment where the application will deploy. And if we require any up, up scaling and scale down, then we should know how to how to do this. So today in the today's session, I will try to cover these are the basic steps. Okay. So let's start. So first of all, you can see on my screen, I have a Visual Studio with me. <coughs> In the Visual Studio, I have a one ASP.NET application, which I will deploy. So let's see my application is working or not. So let me run. So my build is successfully. I have a proper running application. So we, I can show you on my local machine for way. So let's, I'm closing it and let's move to the deployment steps. So first of all, you should have a, <coughs> uh, you should go and download the AWS. Let's go to the extension, <coughs> manage extension and download the AWS toolkit. So type AWS, you will see the AWS toolkit and just download it. When it is download, read on your machine, you will see the same here in the AWS Explorer. <coughs> okay, so now, what you need to do the next steps you should create a one aws profile with the uh, with role of uh, elastic bin stack full access so once this profile have a full access you will just uh, import that profile like this create click here import this csv file of that user and okay click okay so it will set up when it is done it will set up here <coughs> So now you can see I already have one default profile which I have created and these are the AWS environment which with the help of AWS Explorer you can see all this environment. Okay, so our next is my application is built successfully. Now my next step is to <coughs> create a one RDS environment where I will deploy my uh, application script. Correct. So you can see the database here. I already use this database you can see my sql, ob SQL ex object <coughs> where i can show you the database so on my machine you can see the same database just go to the database and go here right click and pub either publish the data tier application if you know otherwise go to the management studio and generate the full script of this database once you have a database script with you just keep it with you then we will go to the aws environment click here the launch instance <coughs> when you click on the launch instance what are whatever the rds database are available in the aws environment you can see all the instance all the database available available in the rds one then you have to choose which one is required for your application. So you can see there are three versions, four version of SQL Server, right? One is the SQL Server Express, one is second one is the Web, Web Edition, third one is the Standard one, fourth is a Server Enterprise Edition. Okay, Oracle Database and MySQL and Postgres also supported by the AWS RDS environment. But now for my application, I am using this one because this will this will give me a <clears throat> freedom to use the free tier of database so i am using this going go to the next here you can choose the least version because we want to use the free instance so here you can see db d2 t2 micro this t2 micro is uh, is free of cost in the aws environment for the new users okay so we will choose this one so we, now you have a instance now you will you just put the database name <coughs> okay and let me let me create one more 
so my database name is dup sorry these are the instance name it's not a database so right now i am creating a database instance not database so i will i am just creating the database instance okay to connect to this instance let me put the default login id and password <coughs> okay and next so now you can see uh, it will it give you a default vpc from the your aws instance so now you can go and create the new vpc because when once you create a new vpc it will set up a proper uh, required details to this uh, this database instance so i am using the new one or i can use the existing one which i already used so you can see the existing one which i which already available for my previous database so we can use the previous one also also we can give the publicly access also if it is required otherwise you just use the security group which you, which is already available so guys you should have a few like basic knowledge i mean uh, aws uh, cloud knowledge you should have now go and click next add all all i am using all right now <coughs> okay so these two i have used and one is also required for rds one so so with the help of this you can create your instance and click on the finish you will get the database instance so i'm just i'm not using creating the new one so once it is done you will see once vpc the default vpc is connected with your database instance now <clears throat> go so you can see my database instance is launched now uh, i i have i what i will do i will go here and check the endpoint go and see the uh, view i will get the instance detail here i can get the properties and i will get the endpoint with the help of this endpoint i will go to the sql server copy and paste use my okay friends so you can see my database is connected and we are here so you have to do you have to just create okay once you are you are there you have to create a new database and once the database is there go and run a new query and the query which you have created just the scripts you have generated from your previous database just copy and paste here so your database will implement okay so now i am closing it because our database setup is done now let me go and check our application deployment so next our database setup is done so our next step is to deploy our application to the beanstalk right so let me go here and click the publish to aws beanstalk so once uh, you have the extension of the aws explorer you will get this option publish to aws elastic beanstalk so let me click on it so right now let me check if i have existing one so i don't have any existing one environment so i am creating a new application environment i am clicking the next once i am clicking the next it will it, the name is there the my application is name is there we can change it i am let me put it as a dms okay so my application name is a dms now i can check where to deploy this application either is a dev environment test or a prod one so let me check with the dev test one once you click on the uh, environment name by default one url is available you have to check the availability of the url so now you can see the url is available once okay so next click the next so now you can see here uh, where this application will deploy in the elastic bean stack so it will deploy in the ec2 instance now you can change the instance type as per your requirement so my application is not that much big right now and i it is not in use so i don't want a, a, a large space i need a very small so i am again using the t2 micro because it's again it's a free one 
uh, if you want no need to uh, put a key pair here because it's not required use the non default one because default one have a lots of restrictions so i am using the non default now you can choose the database here so he, this is your database once you will choose it it will allow you allow your database to connect with this ec2 instance so now you can see my database is available okay click the next okay so default uh, so the vpc will be created my security group is created now i will choose the subnet instance where my application will be hosted so these are the two subnet instance the availability zone for this vpc i'm choosing it and then next once i will click on next my default role will be available which will allow this application to connect with the database and these are the role aws elastic bin stack service role okay next okay so my application is ready to deploy this will be the my application runtime environment this how it will be so debug.net and then i will you can use the tag and all but i we will check in the later uh, in the later training session so now i can i can see you will see uh, what will be the profile this will be the profile where my application will deploy this is my application detail this is my aws options which i have chosen these are the permissions to my application and these are the applications options okay so this this is my application version i will tell you how, how this version is very important so let me deploy it will take some time so i am just pausing my video for the time being <clears throat> so guys you can see when i publish it it started launching it will take around 10 to 15 minutes to complete launch so again uh, let's wait for a few minutes okay friends so now you can see on my screen my instance is launched successfully you can see the environment is healthy so what it does when we have launched our application and we published our application to elastic bin stack so you can see first of all elastic bin stack check uh, amazon s3 bucket to take just like a backup of the application then it will created one security group then created one elastic ip address for our application to, to attach with the environment then he is launch the ec2 instance once the instance is uh, available then it will created one auto scaling group for to attach the ec2 instance and then our inst then our application version deploy to this environment and then my application is available with this name and you can see the application is launched successfully now let's see our what our application is launched so let i am clicking on this url and once this is launched you can see in our internet explorer oh wow so my application is launched right let me see it's connected with database or not so let me click on the login so this is my login page i use one default username and then pass the password and click submit wow so you can see my application is launched i can see my info here and then change the details so everything is working fine right so our deployment is got successfully let's go and check the changes uh, what happened when we deployed it so you can see in the aws elastic bin stack my application is there okay you can see the same name which uh, used for the elastic bin stack you can click on the s3 bucket and see the s3 bucket detail also so this is what and you can see all the backup as a backup correct okay now move back you go and check the ec2 instance also you will see the same application there also in the instances so you can see the dms test application correct okay now now i want to make some changes on my application and want to deploy it again so let's do it fast so this is where is my default page okay this is my delete 
so you let me go back here i make the test version i edit test version word and now i am redeploying it okay so let me redeploy finish and deploy so now it will start deployment again and we can see here okay you can see it's started updating so let's wait for a few minutes it will take around five to six minutes to make the changes so friends my application is deployed successfully you can see the running version is this and now I'll let me launch this application okay so now you can see the changes right test version is there test version is there while the previous one it was not there right so you can see the changes it is available okay now what I want to do I want to revert back my changes so I, I, I can go and go back here and see the, uh, and this one my initial one which when my first application was deployed second changes was there and third one is this where we have changes the test version now I want to go back to the previous one so let me go and publish that's very very simple and read you go and redeploy to the environment and next so you will see whatever the changes i have made in the current version it will re redeploy with the previous one and that's it nothing else no, no means it will make your life very easy so now in the previous version launching our changes was there so you can see and research and all so changes deployed again back and now I am terminating the instances so it will remove the application again so maybe you can see if terminated or not but it started so maybe it will terminate soon so you can see our instance go down application is not available now so let wait so you can see it will terminate the EC2 instance first and the related ALB VPC all it will remove e, it will remove the EIP also so that's that's it guys so this is how we can launch a ASP.NET application with database to the Elastic Bean Instack thanks thanks for watching my channel please give your comments and like my channel subscribe my channel thanks thanks everyone